What's up? It's Kaylee Cuoco. When it comes to travel, we all have a happy place. I just went to my happy place. I just went to Maui, and it was truly amazing. Priceline has always been about getting you to your happy place for a happy price with deals you really can't find anywhere else, like up to 60% off select hotels in Costa Rica or five-star hotels for two-star prices in Cabo. Go to your happy place for a happy price. Go to your happy price, Priceline. This is the Mistress Carrie Situation Report for August 14th, 2023. Your daily entertainment headlines, industry info, and everything rock. Ghost in Amana Marth recently played the Hollywood Casino Amphitheater in Maryland Heights, Missouri. And prior to the show, the venue posted a statement that in part read that face paint and masks and face coverings would not be allowed while entering the venue or purchasing items at concessions. They also stated any face coverings must be removable upon request, which is a little difficult at a ghost show. Ghost fans on Reddit called it, quote, a bit of a clusterfuck. The venue has since apologized, saying the issue wasn't caused by ghost. On behalf of our crew, we'd like to apologize for any misconception or miscommunication about removing face paint. This was not directed by ghost, and if you experienced issues at last night's show, please reach out so that we can improve for future shows. Also over the weekend, the Foo Fighters teamed up with Michael Bublé to perform his 2009 hit single, Haven't Met You Yet. It came after Dave Grohl paid special attention to all of the artists new Foo Fighters drummer Josh Freese has played with over his career. The Foo Fighters went into a medley of Devo, Nine Inch Nails, and then called an anonymous member of the crowd to come up and sing, and it turned out to be Michael Bublé. Dave Grohl saying, quote, This motherfucker better know the song. Guns N' Roses have their upcoming new song, Perhaps, and it was leaked by digital jukeboxes in bars across the United States this weekend. The song was supposed to be released last Friday, but was delayed due to reasons unknown. Prior to its delay, a link briefly appeared on the Universal Music website, allowing eager fans to pre-save the track on Spotify and Apple Music. The band has not confirmed the release of the new song. Perhaps was reportedly left off of the Chinese democracy in 2008 and has been reworked by Axel, Duff, and Slash. Iced Earth frontman John Schaefer has finally gotten a sentencing date of February 20th, 2024 for his involvement in the January 6th Capitol riot and insurrection. In April of 2021, Schaefer pleaded guilty to, quote, a criminal information charging him with obstruction of an official proceeding and entering and remaining in a restricted building or grounds with a deadly or dangerous weapon. Together, the charges could result in him facing up to 30 years in prison if convicted. John Schaefer was one of the first identified in photos from the riot. Now over a thousand people have been charged with crimes. Slipknot singer Corey Taylor joined Tom Kenny, who voiced SpongeBob in SpongeBob SquarePants this weekend at the Huntington Comic and Toy Convention. They sang the theme song of the iconic Nickelodeon show. You can check out the video performance online. It's not the first time Corey Taylor has publicly sung SpongeBob. He's performed the song at his solo concerts for more than a decade, including at last year's Shiprocked Cruise and at the 2022 Spookala Horror Convention in Ocala, Florida. And speaking of Slipknot, Penelope Spheris' unreleased OzFest documentary, we Sold Our Soul for Rock and Roll is set to be screened at the David Geffen Theater in Los Angeles this Friday. The 90-minute film, which was shot in the late 90s, includes interviews and live footage with Slipknot, Static X, and System of a Down, who all broke off of the second stage of OzFest, along with plenty of backstage action, also focusing a lot on Black Sabbath at OzFest in 99. And hip-hop luminaries over the weekend celebrated the 50th anniversary of hip-hop at Yankee Stadium in the Bronx, featuring performances from Nas, Snoop Dogg, Lil Wayne, Lil Kim, the Wu-Tang Clan, and Fat Joe. The concert also marked the end of an era, the final time Run DMC are set to perform together. 
And that's your sit rep. For more details on all of the stories, check the links in the show notes of this episode. And don't forget to follow and subscribe to the Mistress Carrie podcast. New full-length episodes come out every Wednesday. Episode 166 featuring Doc Coyle from Bad Wolves is available now. For America's climate goals, investing in clean energy adds up. But what doesn't add up is an additionality requirement for clean hydrogen. Additionality would put an unnecessary and inequitable burden on domestic clean hydrogen producers and have serious consequences for America. America needs clean hydrogen, but an additionality requirement just doesn't add up. Get the facts at cleanhydrogentoday.org. Paid for by the Fuel Cell and Hydrogen Energy Association.